Okay. Hey, Happy Vincent. National Day. Happy National Day. Uh, thanks for working on that public holiday. Hey, no, pro <laughs> no problem. They can work a little magic. Anyway, uh, yeah. we'll talk about an interesting keyword for today. Sure. For National Day, it's kind of strange. Okay. It's a hyphenated word. Okay. Bit hyphen rigging. Yeah, bid B -I -D rigging. B-I-D hyphen R-I-G-G-I-N-G. Bid rigging, yes. Uh, this is something for property owners to watch out for. Uh-huh. And if you're a renter and you have to pay your building uh, management fees, you should also be looking out for this. Okay. okay? Uh, there's a new group, the Property Owners Anti-Bid Rigging Alliance, are going to run candidates in the district council uh, elections. They mm. just made an announcement a few days ago. <laughs> Yeah, and you're like, what? What is that all about? Like, who are these guys? Where did they come from? They're, yeah. You know, they're not localists. They're not pro Dems. They're not pro establishment. Their thing is, they want to stop bid rigging in buildings. You want to know how it works? Uh, uh, how the anti bid rigging works? How the anti bid rigging works? <laughs> <clears throat> well, first thing you just got to know what's going on. Um, so the deal is this: the kind of the thing the triads have figured out, and I think they've been doing it for a little while now, but it's just kind of getting more and more into mainstream content. I think we mentioned it once on this show, but people are still kind of get their heads around it. Essentially, triads figure out how to get control of building, uh, building uh, committees, councils, whatever you want to call them. The management committee are the people that are responsible for making decisions about the building. Yep. Right? So if you're, if you're an owner of a flat in your building, you can run for your building's council. They'll be the ones that make decisions about things like uh, fixing up the outside of the building, changing the plumbing. Maybe they're going to like remodel the area where they pick up the garbage. You know, refurbish the pool if you are so you know enlightened as to have something like that where you live. Um, and they're the people that make the decisions about these things. The triads have figured out, aha, there is some good money in this. If you can get control of that council, you can get them to give contracts, what we call sweetheart deals, to your friends. And they can charge outrageous fees and do low price work, and that gap, you know, that margin is picked up by the triads. Hoo ha! So they go about doing this by trying to get control of the okay, council. Okay, that's how the bid rigging works. Now, yeah, but you but you have to get control of the, the bid. You have to get control yeah. of the council. Well, there's a big movement on right now to educate people about this, right? Because if you're in the building and you just like can't be bothered with that stuff, and then all of a sudden, you know, they turns around and they're like, "Oh, by the way, your fees are going up by five hundred dollars this year." You're probably gonna, you know, five hundred dollars a month or whatever, and they're gonna be like, "What? That's oh, come on, you guys!" And by then, it's too late. You got to pay it. How the district council election comes in? Well, this is it. So these guys are gonna come in the round. It's like, well, you know, what's going on here? How are you guys are gonna run for district council? But really, reasonably, what can the district councils do about it? Yeah. And the answer is not much. <laughs> To be honest. After about, all your analysis? After all that. I mean, what, what can they do? It's just not within their purview. Well, they can raise awareness. They can. So, for example, in my district, one of the district uh, council candidates, he took it upon himself to go and test the water in every building. You know what? Some of the. But I mean, not his job. Some but of the they have that kind of yeah, authority. Some of the uh, management uh, or the ownership association. Yeah. Uh, the <clears throat> chair. Yeah. Would choose to support some district councillors. Yes. And some of them even run for district councillors. Yeah. So I think this group is not really into being uh, elected. Yeah. But just to expose. Right. So they have a good reason to go to management uh, committees and say, the systems, yeah. We want to cooperate with you guys. We want to talk to you. And oh, by the way, here's our candidates. Yeah. Right? So I think that's that's the main purpose. It's not a bad way to do it. Yeah. I mean, and if it gets the word out, I mean, it's a bit of a what we call a one-trick pony in politics. I like got one issue, yeah. you know, anti-bid rigging. But if it raises awareness about it, so people are like, hey, wait a second. Hey, hey I got this notice about a council meeting. I heard about this yeah. bid rigging thing. I better show up at that and make sure it's not a bunch of triads taking yeah. over my building. They're going to jack my rates and screw that's me true. over. Right. So, yeah, that could be a good one. So that, that's an interesting group to watch and see, you know, whether they are getting a message across or if they're, you know getting into the councils themselves not to rig bids but rig votes maybe okay <laughs> in the nicest sort of way all right okay. okay so that's one to look out for oh and of course tonight tonight fireworks all right uh, apparently it's going to be world war ii themed fireworks carrying on with the 70th anniversary you know it's all coming down from beijing the top and they're gonna i guess pick the theme of our fireworks this year which is world war ii uh, last time we had World War II fireworks over Hong Kong, it wasn't such a good time back in the 1940s, but hopefully tonight will be a little bit more fun. Mm. 
You know, everybody obey safe. the crowd control. Keep a hand, keep a close eye on your kids. And, play it uh, safe. Just to remind all of you uh, tonight. Yeah. Uh, starting from uh, five o'clock onwards. Yep. This car park we're in will be closed. Yep. No car can come to here. Yeah, jam packed. Jam packed yeah, with people. Five o'clock till eleven. Yeah. But uh, if you really think you can drive to Admiralty and Central and Wan Chai and Causeway Bay and can get your car out uh, smoothly, <coughs> think again. But <laughs> at, at least at least it won't be a hundred thousand people sleeping in the streets like last year. So yeah, I guess that's okay. Uh, okay. All right. Cheers. Catch you later.